Everyone thinks OpenAI is winning the AI war because ChatGPT gets all the headlines. But while you've been watching the shiny object, Google has made the most brilliant chess move maybe in business history. They didn't just build a better chatbot, they made AI disappear into the tools 10 million businesses already use every single day. And in the next eight minutes or so, I'm gonna show you exactly why Google's about to dominate your AI workplace and why your business strategy needs to account for this shift happening right now. Because this isn't about who has the best AI or LLM anymore. It's about who owns the ecosystem where work actually gets done. Now look, I get it. When you think AI at work, you probably think ChatGPT or maybe Claude. If you're especially advanced, you might know who Manus is. You're copy and pasting between tabs, switching context every five minutes, but while everyone's been obsessing over who has the smartest chatbot, Google's been playing a completely different game. They're not trying to win the AI race, they're trying to own the entire track. And here's what I realized after diving deep into their latest moves. Google has four massive advantages that literally no one is talking about. First, they've made AI invisible in a lot of cases by integrating it directly into your existing workflow. You're probably using it already and don't even know it. Second, they've built enterprise gray security from day one, right? This is just table stakes for someone like Google. Third, they've created the easiest path for developers to build really AI powered and AI native apps. And fourth, and this one is tops for me, They've made enterprise AI so affordable that a lot of businesses just can't justify saying no to using it. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why the AI workplace war isn't about features or LLM or context window anymore. It's about ecosystem lock-in. It's a land grab. And Google just checkmated the competition. Now, let me show you something that changes everything. Most people use AI like this. Copy, paste, switch tabs, wait, copy back, switch back. It feels like productivity theater. You feel like you're on the cutting edge of AI, but you're actually just creating more friction in your workflow than solving it and becoming more efficient. Now watch this. Same tasks, zero tab switching. The AI isn't something you go to. It's already there where you're working. Here's the kicker, right? Google Workplace already has 10 million business customers. That's 10 million companies, not users, that don't need to change their tools, retrain their teams, or rebuild their workflows. They just upgrade. And when I say upgrade, I mean Gemini is now built in natively to Gmail, Docs, Sheets, Meet, and Drive. Not as some kind of add-on you have to remember to activate or en enable special permissions or anything. Not as a separate app you have to learn, it's just there, in the flow of your regular work. And now let's think about this a little strategically. Let's go up a level. Every other company is asking users to change their behavior. Google is enhancing the behavior of users they already have. That's not just like smart product design, that's how you win markets. But here's where Google really separates itself from the pack. While everyone else is racing to impress customers with flashy demos, Google is quietly building something enterprises actually need, trust. See, like IT departments, if you've ever dealt with them, don't care if your AI can write poetry. They care about three things and three things only, security, compliance, and control. Google's Gemini for Workspace has SOC 1, SOC 2, and SOC 3 compliance. It's ISO certified and can help you meet HIPAA requirements. That's just not a bunch of like marketing gobbledygook, right? That's the difference between a pilot program and company-wide rollout. They have earned the trust of enterprises all across the world. But look, here's the real differentiator. And this is critical if you're thinking about implementing AI into your company. At Google, your data stays your data. Google explicitly states that they don't use your prompts, your data, or your generated response to train their models. They don't sell your data. They don't use it for ads. You can delete it, export it, and control it. And it's already showing real results. Elanco, a major animal health company, implemented Google's AI framework and achieved a $1.9 million ROI since launch. Shura Investments saw a 10-point increase in customer satisfaction. Look, th these aren't just random numbers. These aren't pilot programs. These are production deployments driving real business value in real companies.
Okay, so like we'll pause here and just say, look, if you're wondering how to actually implement AI strategy into your own company without making a bunch of really costly mistakes, I put together a free 30-day AI accelerator email course that takes you from kind of AI beginner, maybe you're AI curious, you've used ChatGPT, to an advanced workplace AI user who is really on the cutting edge of AI at work. It covers everything from prompt engineering to security considerations to ROI measurement. Links in the description below. Because here's what Google understands that their competitors don't. Enterprise sales aren't won on features. They're won on risk mitigation and they're winning big time there. Now, here's another really brilliant strategy from Google. They're not just winning the end user battle, they're locking in the entire developer ecosystem. And in a lot of companies, new technology adoption starts in the development teams. And through Firebase AI logic, which used to be called Vertex AI in Firebase, developers can now integrate Gemini directly into mobile and web apps without building complex backend infrastructure. Think about what that means. Traditionally, if you wanted to add AI to your mobile app, you need to set up servers, manage API keys, handle authentication, worry about security and scale infrastructure. Now it's literally a few lines of code and it comes with built-in security through Firebase app check, automatic scaling through Google Cloud and access to the entire Gemini model family. But here's an interesting ecosystem play. Firebase already powers millions of mobile apps and when those developers want to add AI features, guess which platform is going to be the easiest choice for them, right? It's not just Firebase either. Through Vertex AI, Google offers access to 160 foundation models, not just their own Gemini models, but Anthropic, open source models like Llama, OpenAI, specialized image and video models. They're positioning themselves as like the Switzerland of AI. Work with whoever you want, but do it through our infrastructure. And plus they're making it ridiculously easy. I think for developers uh, want to add image generation, a few lines of code, right? Want to build a chat bot, a few lines of code. Want to analyze a few documents, a few lines of code. Every developer who builds with this stack becomes a Google AI customer for life. I've seen it with my customers and every app that they build extends Google's reach. Okay, so pretty compelling case so far, right? But here's the knockout punch. And this is super genius by Google for me. Remember when Gemini for Workplace was a separate add-on, costing like 30 bucks per user per month? Pretty expensive. Google just made the move that's gonna crush, I think, all of the competition. They've integrated AI directly into their standard workplace plans. A customer who is paying $32 per user per month for Workplace plus Gemini now pays just 14 per user per month. It's only $2 more than the Workplace without AI. And we'll just put this in perspective, Microsoft 365 Copilot costs $30 on top of the existing Microsoft subscription. ChatGPT is about 25 bucks. Claude Pro is between 25 and 30. So Google isn't just making a, like a competitive price. They're making AI so affordable that not using it becomes more expensive than using it. And here's the strategic brilliance to me is they're treating AI as like foundational infrastructure. It's electricity. It's not a premium add-on. Think about what this does like psychologically for those customers. When AI is an expensive add-on, companies treat it as optional, experimental, and nice to have, and they'll critique that budget line. When it's included by default, it becomes expected, essential, and just part of the standard workflow. And to me, this pricing strategy doesn't just win customers, it changed how entire markets think about AI. And look, if you wanna stay ahead of these AI workplace changes and learn how to implement them effectively in your own company, remember to grab the free 30-day AI Accelerator course I mentioned. It's designed specifically for business professionals who wanna go from kind of AI beginner to advanced users in a month. Links in the description below. Going back to Google, like I think their message is crystal clear. AI isn't the future of work anymore, it's the present, and they're making sure you can't afford to ignore it. Okay, so let's just bring this full circle as we wrap up. Remember that chess metaphor from the beginning? While well, everyone else was fighting over who would build the smartest AI piece, Google was quietly positioning themselves to control the entire board. It's checkmate. They didn't just build a better AI or a smarter LLM. They made AI inseparable from the work itself. And just, just think about it. Once your team is using Gemini and Gmail and Docs every day, why would they switch to another AI or LLM? Once your developers have built apps in Firebase AI logic, why would they rebuild on Claude code or cursor? Once your IT department has vetted Google's security and compliance, why would they go through that process again for anyone else? 
And it's not about having the best technology anymore. Because truth be told, most LLMs today are pretty interchangeable, I find. It's about creating switching costs so high that leaving becomes practically impossible. And the brilliant part, Google's competitors cannot copy this strategy. OpenAI doesn't have 10 million businesses already using their productivity suite. Microsoft has the suite, but they're treating AI as an expensive kind of premium add-on. Amazon, I don't know. Apple, I don't know. Anthropic doesn't have any of this. Google is the only company that can integrate this AI seamlessly into tools people already use at work at a price point that makes it inevitable. The AI war isn't over, but Google has changed the game completely. Smash that subscribe button so you can get more strategic AI insights like this. I'm going deep every day of my 100 days of AI. This is Craig Hewitt, and I'll see you tomorrow.